la 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 also this first time you're on my channel look out i cuss they cuss a little make us a lot just depending on what the hell these cards say oh but i'm a cuss so if cussing does not work for you please feel free to find another beautiful reader who can further assist you here on youtube all right you guys uh just first well to the new subscribers welcome to the family we only dysfunctional we don't fight the us we leave that shit on other people's channel but we do cuss we grow we share we enlighten we evolve Posy vibes only we one big happy family we even cry some time up in here because it gets a little emotional more gets sensitive i've been getting really in tune with this goddess energy and i just been indulging it you understand so i might damn cry may make a few of y'all cry so right we family that's what that's what connecting is for okay um you guys to the returning subscribers gang gang What's going on? What's popping? How is June treating you? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this transformative place? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribe. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. The comments, all that. Thank you for supporting the kid. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you guys need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description below. It's not going to resonate with everybody, all right? Um... This is for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Leo from, we're going to say, the 24th, okay? Even though I'm tardy to the party, y'all know. If I was on time, y'all would need to be with Mocha. <laughs> What's going on? But, like, no, 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 no bullshit. I'm not bullshit, but slightly I was, you know. But ultimately, um, we've all been in the cycle of wrapping things up, um, kind of strategizing things, kind of the season of the read with the uh, entering and all these. And, Entering into Mercury and uh, Mercury retrograde and Cancer adding to the party. We got Pluto in retrograde, Jupiter in retrograde, Saturn in retrograde, Neptune in retrograde. Fucking who else is in retrograde? Uh, I said Pluto all day and ready. And then Mercury coming to add to the bunch. It's a fucking party. Okay. So I definitely, if you're looking for me, you can hit me up for a personal. Other than that. If it's a little Leo like me, I'll be hiding. If it's a little, if, if it's a little Leo on here that likes on me, I'll be hiding in my closet. Okay, so that's where you can find me at, underneath the covers in the bed, cause I, I'm not coming out to play. All right, so <laughs> let's get into it. All right, we're gonna start with your intuitive messages from now to the end of the month. Cause I was gonna go ahead and do July, and I was like, hell no, nah, my Leos need the tea, and I ain't finna have y'all cut me. Y'all, put your, put your swords back in your pocket. Thank you. All right. <laughs> for Leo, what we got was fulfillment. Missing you. Interference. Ego death. Receptivity. Reflection. Decisions. Compromise. Life cycles. Don't want to go. Reunions. Past life. Self-worth. Karmic clearing, great fortune, abundance, new love, intentions, forgiveness, partnership, new addition, new home, victim mentality. All right. So let's get it. Me and those intuitive messages did apply to you. This is your reading. All right. Let's talk about it. Overall energy. Around the reading, we have the ten of uh, hearts. Okay, so the ultimate, ultimate overall energy, y'all. Mercury retrograde and Cancer be fucking me up every every time when it goes in Cancer and Pisces. Y'all gotta bear with me with my words. I may have to start over like my nine year old when I tell him roll the plane. I, now shoot, all right. So let's get it. <laughs> so some of you are the focus is family. The focus is um restructuring when it comes to value renewing or renewing relationships actually getting to a understanding and a comprehension a comprehension around where your relationships your situationships your partnerships where they lie and if you are in the midst of healthy foundations it's getting real with your damn self and for some of you all this is about you getting every everything it's harvest time baby you receiving what it was that you've been trying to manifest okay so let's get it 
first angel message you guys got. You guys got life review. Archangel Jermiel. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced, okay? Again, ending cycles, okay? Things that need to be cleared out. I do see you guys clearing out. There is a focus during this time on the heart chakra, you guys. For some of you all, you may be looking into matters of the love, into matters of your love life, things in the past that you have allowed, things in the past that maybe you have overlooked, okay, that really cut deep within your core. And for some of you, your your things are coming back full circle for there to be some type of closure. I definitely feel the energy of people who you blocked where there was, it, um, it, it's a sense of the door is closed, but all of your windows are open. So some of you guys are needing to shut your windows. For some of you all, there could be a sense of really needing to shut your windows. Leo. Some of you guys, there's an obsessive energy around you. Some of you all, be careful. Um, there's someone who is in love with you, Leo, but the love is like obsessed. Like, <sighs> it's a good and bad obsessed. I feel like it's obsessed with a sense of loyalty, but it's a sense of this person actually losing an aspect of themselves in order to keep you. Like, um... It's a sense of, you know, without Leo, I'm nothing or there's nothing. So for some of you all, you may be receiving some type of communication regarding someone's mental health. Um, there's a need for you guys to write down your dreams. Focus on what it is that really matters to you. Focus on where it is you'd like to see yourself. I'm here in five year plan. Some of you all may be starting new businesses. There's a need for you all to be be a bit more optimistic versus pessimistic and looking at things negatively before they even occur for some of you all. Not everybody, okay? And others of you, this has to do with you taking a taking a reevaluation in matters of the heart where you could have missed opportunities because maybe there was a wall or maybe there was some type of clothing. Others of you, you um you may be having a hard time, you may be um mourning over a loved one, a mother figure, some of you. My condolences to you, baby. Others of you, this could be a grandmother, a grandmother figure, someone who's passed over on the other side is over is overlooking you, Leo. Leo you're overseer. For some of you all, this person is just fear guy. For some of you all, this person got their hand in a situation, in a karmic situation for you all. Like this person is intervening in the releasing of a situation. And some of you all, this person may even be coming in your dream space to confirm, yeah, my hand's in the pudding. <laughs> Whoever this is, this could have been someone who smoked a lot of cigarettes. Could also have been someone who cursed a lot because for some reason I'm hearing all kind of damn swearing him. <laughs> and it's funny because when I said this person got their hand all in the pudding, somebody grandma or uh, mama got a got a thing about the word motherfucker who passed off one of the motherfucker. You motherfucking right, I got my hand in the pudding. Somebody, somebody, and somebody mama talks very fast. Who could have crossed over? She wants you to know that she is with you and she is divinely guiding your path. This will help assisting you um, on your divinely guided path, okay? The next message that you all got is moon cycles. Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Capitalize upon these cycles. There's a need. I'm hearing focused intention, okay? So for some of you all, there's a need for you all to speak your truths. Others of you, you may be seeing white birds, white cranes, white pelicans. There's a sense of purity around you, white butterflies. Others of you also uh, may be having some type of like past life regression, like you may be um, in your dream space or in the space of the subconscious via meditation. You may be going backwards and like assessing. Some of y'all are assessing your Akashic records during this time. Others of you, others of you, my Leo ladies, somebody is pregnant and need to go take a damn blood test. You don't have the hormone that they're looking for as far as the PP. Now, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not that person, but whoever grandma is divinely guiding the situation or a mother, and it's, it's a few of y'all who this is for. It's a grandmother and a mother, but whoever that mother be, they cuss like a damn sailor. They funny. They cuss like a sailor, and they could have smoked cigarettes because the voice is really raspy, like someone who smokes cigarettes, but they talk really fast, and they like the word motherfucker. Others of you, there's a need for you to protect your energy around the moon cycles or the new moon cycles, full moon cycles that are upcoming. Some of you all, some of you ladies may actually have a physical, um, like, change or shift in your cycle. You may have two cycles. 
It has to do with the ascension process and the energies that are come, the energies that are a bit heavy, like your body actually adjusts to frequency. Some of y'all may also have heavy ringing in the ears. But some of you all, you are, um, some of y'all are, are actually inheriting the gift of clear audience during this time. And so if there's a need for you all, some of y'all are literally going through a spiritual awakening. And so in this awakening, there's a need for some of y'all to release, to release things that has been residual. So you may have lovers that's coming in your life or people coming back during this Mercury retrograde that trigger you. But it, you, you, instead of allowing yourself to get lost into the emotion, okay, you may even have a new love in your life that's triggering someone that was very karmic or someone that was very toxic or a, a sector in your life that you just kind of brushed under the rug. And for some of you all, there's this space of fear. You need to release that. Some of y'all need to write, write it down. Some of y'all are writers. Some of you guys are artists. You're going to be getting back in the studio. I'm here for some for somebody. And for somebody else, there is um there's a need for you to be in this place of solitude during this time. Spirit is wanting you to review cycles of your life that has been repetitive and what you can do instead of trying to control situations. You since we know that we are we are what we attract, you become the change in what you're trying to manifest and take stock. And renew yourself, re renew thyself in order to project that energy in which you want to receive, in order to, you know, exude that. All right? So let's get it. Let me dig in y'all love life. Okay? Okay? <laughs> some of you all, this is about communicating with someone. Some of y'all want to tell somebody that you're no longer in love with them. It's just, you, so you guys are... Down by law, loyal to a fault. But who's being loyal to you, Leo? In your desire. You gotta be loyal to yourself. You can't expect for people to come in and be loyal to you if they see that you don't treat yourself that way. Is that something that can be shifted, maybe? Some of y'all? Get a spirit. What messages do you have from now? Until June the 30th. For my Leo, some will rise in Venus as well as the cross watchers. What can they expect in love, finances, etc.? What messages do you have for my Leo? Love, finance, the coin, the shmani. Some of you all may have a new opportunity, okay? Some of you, hmm. Some of you all also. There's some type of abundance around a family dynamic, okay, or a coming together of a family dynamic, someone who can actually add to you, Leo, versus take away from your energy. Some of you all may also have some type of new, um, a new opportunity in love, possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Others of you, this has to do with renewing or building some type of solid foundation when it comes to some type of family structure, okay? Others of you could also be finding out that you're pregnant. You actually bring the baby into the world. Mocha love the kids. Congratulations, boo. Others of you, this could have to do with some type of entre entrepreneurship. If you have your own business during this time, baby, business looks well and swell, okay? Some of you all may actually be, I'm hearing, booked up, okay? Booked up, completely booked. Some of you guys who um, have any type of services that you offer to the public, um, if you have, I'm here in boutique. Some of y'all may actually be opening up and getting some, some some type of positive news about a boutique. I'm seeing wigs, so this could have to do with hair. Yeah. Others of you, there is abundance. Okay. So others of you, I definitely see you could be dealing with a situation, okay? Or you could be reconciling with someone who could be an earth sign or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you all are cutting somebody off and when doing so and, and, and cutting off this person uh, because I feel like Spirit is saying you haven't been listening to the intuitive nudges. And cutting off this person, some of y'all have a brand new beginning with a with a, uh, with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. And others of you, I feel like you have a new beginning with the, hmm, some of y'all have to make a choice between air in Earth, for damn sure. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, towards Virgo. I definitely feel like you're done trying to control the situation. You're now just speaking about what it is that you will or will not accept the motherfucking your energy doing. I definitely feel like for those of you who are reconciling some type of family dynamic, you're needing to set, set healthy and clear boundaries. Definitely be open and willing to compromise, okay? And for some of you all, yeah, okay. 
So some of you all, this could have to do with the fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like for some of you all, some of y'all could have been, some of y'all are used to people who try to control the situation. So you have a new opportunity in love and you're having, you're needing to control your urge to control shit. Okay. Cause some of you guys are dealing with fire signs and I definitely feel like someone's going to have some type of ego death during the situation. There's harmony and balance trying to come into your lives, Leo. And this could be someone who's very intuitive. Okay. This is some of you guys could also be very intuitive as well. Some of you guys could also be seeing this in your dream space or being revealed some uh, revealed uh, some type of relationship or um, information regarding a new lover in your life. Some of y'all could also be meeting someone who you dreamt about March. Some of y'all dreamt about somebody you don't know in the month of March. There's a faded meeting happening here. Others of you, some of you all, hmm. Some of you all have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like either you or this person needs to make a decision. Someone has to choose between two, okay? Um, I definitely feel like you or another person is indecisive on which way to go. I feel like there has been an issue when it comes to communication with you and your partner. I definitely feel like someone someone has been wanting to communicate or the, the communication has been childish. Like I definitely feel like people are communicating, but there's it's the wrong damn C we missing. It's the actual comprehension factor of the communication. Like someone's not really understanding or getting another person. And for some of y'all, somebody simply don't want to. Somebody is painting a picture of illusions to act as if they don't know what the hell is going on or where their thoughts lie. I also feel that some of you guys are dealing with somebody who has an issue when it comes to accountability. Some of y'all intuitively know that you have a fire sign coming back to offer you something solid. Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like this person wants harmony. This could be someone where there was no communication possibly after some type of third party dynamic. This person could have put you in a third party situation. Someone is wanting to be someone is wanting to be forgiven as well. Or they're communicating that they want to restart a situation. They want to regain your trust after a third party situation. This could have to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or possibly um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Others of you, there's a solid offer coming in with a whole lot of passion attached to it. Possibly from an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Others of you, this is about you focusing on what it is that you're passionate about. You guys are definitely being, you're being pushed into your life path. And you needed to make a decision on what really matters to you. What do you love to do? Are you settling in any area of your life? Some of you guys are needing to make a decision when it comes to um, a Capricorn or a Virgo. I definitely feel like some of you guys want to seclude your some of y'all want to cut a Virgo off, but I feel like you keep the communication a bit cordial to not rock the damn boat because I see somebody is making secret plans to set up something stable elsewhere, possibly with a water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, a damn Capricorn or a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. It's a whole lot of sex. Leo, y'all having a lot of sex during this time? Y'all out here? Y'all out here humping, humping? <laughs> bust it down, bust it down, bust it down, Leo, busting it down. Some of y'all, for those of you who are in committed relationships, I definitely see some type of uh, communication that is occurring. If you guys were a bit faulty, maybe communication was lacking a bit. I definitely feel like someone could have had an issue with something. That someone, you are having an awakening, Leo, and I definitely feel like some of y'all have this fear. Like you're not making a decision because ultimately some of y'all are holding on to some type of truth or someone is holding on to some type of truth because they have a fear of you leaving them, Leo. Some of y'all could also be finding out that some of y'all, I, I just heard the word checkup, okay? If you are a female Leo um, and your cycle happens to change during this time and there is some type of bodily fluid that is off or has some type of stench, your partner, the the one that spirit has been on your head about making a decision about, they go that fast talking mama again. Spirit say, and your mama said ain't shit. And whoever this is, you have an inkling about someone that you know with this person. And if something happened when you went on some type of trip or when your schedule changed of some sort, you get ready to shift and hit the fan for somebody when it comes to someone that you know. This could be... um. 
someone who you were once associated with, if this person randomly cut you off, a female friend, I'm talking to a female Leo, you're going to find out why this person cut you off real soon. And it definitely has to do with a third party situation and some very cowardly, whole ass activity. Or why someone, someone could have actually like tried to throw you under the bus or sabotage your relationship. Karma's a bitch because they're going to get a front row seat of your winning season, okay? Not only are you going to get the stable relationship because there's going to be some type of clarity in the communication that's had so that you guys can move past it because I do see moving past. I see clear boundaries being set and I see someone releasing control and releasing, releasing their negative way of thinking, their negative habits, their negative ways of doing things. Why is the devil here? Some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign that you feel is toxic. Like this, I definitely feel like some of y'all, I feel like there could be an attachment to this person when it comes to finances. So for some of you all, you choose to just go and be in a third party. Or you want this other person choose to be in a third party just to keep the damn peace and keep you happy. Some of y'all could also be in a third party with an air sign, possibly that's connected to um, an earth sign. Some of y'all got a new relationship. Or some of you all are finding out that you could be possibly pregnant or have some type some of y'all there's some type of negative mindset when it comes to starting a new business there's a need for you guys to have a bit more confidence say it with your motherfucking chest you a motherfucking like let me hear you are y'all know i'm goofy as fuck right <laughs> some of you all you have a new beginning um or some of y'all this could also be some type of business collaboration for those of you who are willing to go into business with your partner it looks good okay so i do see a finalization happening so it has to do with contracts and legalities during this time as well and some of y'all could also be starting something new having something solid with like, again earth sign big emphasis on Taurus and capricorn virgos here too why is the ace of pentacles here with the ten of pentacles hmm this is could be, okay. This could be a situation where someone is wanting to renew something or have something with you. With others of you, this is actually releasing yourself from either some type of family dynamic, okay, or releasing yourself from a situation in order to move to something solid. But actually speaking the truth, not ghosting, but say it with your chest, Leo. Okay, close the damn doors and the windows. Some of y'all, this could have to do with uh, some type of manifestation or some type of. Um, some of you guys could have thought that you were moving forward in some type of family dynamic, possibly with an air sign. This person could be cutting you off and going to go find stability elsewhere. I feel like you're done trying to control the situation, though, and trying to keep a situation together that don't want to be kept. Why is the mother of swords here with the four pinnacles in reverse? Yeah. For some of you all, before I accept this damn offer... I'm not going to try to control things. I'm going to move slowly, okay? Either you or another person is releasing, relinquishing control after someone clearly sets their damn boundaries and tell a person what they will or will not accept. I have been there, done that with somebody who was a bit controlling. I know you knew, and I like you like that. I would like to manifest this, but this is what I do. That's that shit I don't like. That's the shit I don't like. Why is the high priestess here? Yeah. Someone, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Intuitively, you know that this person is coming. For some of you all, I feel like the feeling is mutual wanting to manifest a family situation or wanting to have a healthy or harmony in some type of family dynamic. I feel like someone is being very prideful and not really admitting that they feel the same way that you do, Leo, but they feel the same way. Some of you all, some of y'all got a telepathic connection possibly to a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, or you communicate with this person during this time in your dream space, or you will be. Others of you, this could be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all dealing with an air sign that's planning on actually connecting to this person want to reconcile. But for some of you all, if this person is not talking to you, it's because they're still trying to break free from a situation. But the but the mutual energy is wanting to reconcile. Yeah. For some of you all, this could be uh, regarding a past life relationship, possibly with a Pisces who you left feeling who you got kids with or who you left feeling a bit abandoned or some maybe both of you guys had issues with something that happened in the past. There could have been a third party that happened in the past that kept things stagnant because there began trust issues actually arise from this. It's triggered somebody. 
I definitely feel like this person is wanting to come forward and they want to reconcile with you. I feel like intuitively, um, some of y'all could have dreamt this. Some of you all could have been, um, I heard premonition. Some of y'all could have had a premonition about it. Others of you, this person is coming back. However, some of y'all just want to be by yourself and keep your damn options open. You're choosing to void that damn slut. No and void. I'm done with this old contract, baby. I release you. Yeah, some of y'all got to release a water sign. This person, be careful. They still got options. I just feel like they coming in to put their damn toe in the water to see if it's, if it's hot or if it's cool enough. Why is the father of wands here? Yeah, some of y'all dealing with a fire sign that's still indecisive. This person is coming in to communicate. They come in. They want your booty. Okay? But they still have to make a decision possibly between you and the air sign. And I feel like, Yeah. And it could be, they could also be coming in because they're dealing with another air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, that is indecisive. So they're communicating with you to see if things can move forward, but there wasn't once an equal give and take because this person has a desire to do so. But this person also has an issue with speaking up and speaking their truth and releasing themselves and letting things go because they have this fear of the unknown. Why is the Son of Wands here? Yeah. Again, so some of y'all, this person could be communicating. This person could be wanting to hold on to you, offer you something stable. But I guess feel like they could still be working it out, possibly with an air sign or with an earth sign. Capricorn to a Virgo. Others of you, you could be doing this to another fire sign. You could be starting something new with someone, but still um, holding on or trying to work a situation out, situation out in the family dynamic or with the mother or father of your children. And others of you, you have something new and solid. And intuitively, you guys know this, okay? Some of you guys are moving forward. You're coming out of this place of indecisiveness, indecision. Some of you guys could be connecting with the Taurus, okay? An Aries person, someone new. You could also be finding out that you got babies, all right? You, look, you got a baby on the way. And it could come, I feel like this is a thing. This is also like, I feel like it comes with the synchronicity, like a time frame. Some of y'all could receive some type of promotion at work, okay? Or this could be your partner receiving some type of promotion or some type of um, either large payout or windfall okay and it's shortly after you find out hey we're gonna be a daddy <laughs> we're gonna be parents and you know things are aligning very well as well for you but it's gonna be after choosing self-worth choosing to let go choosing to let go of control issues choosing not to let people walk into your life and start rearranging shit based on how they feel you should be acting break the cycle baby so that you can move forward because divine time and waits on you some of y'all could also be dealing with a damn sad series okay so this is what I have for you guys for love. I pray this resonates. You guys comment, like, share, subscribe. If you need a personal, that information can be found in the description. Please, you guys, check back and forth with the community tab. I'm going to be posting specials all this summer. I love. I know them damn kids at the school. They eating you out of house and home. So I ain't trying to tap your pockets too much. I genuinely love to be able to share my gift with you. So, you know, if you've never had a reading with me, I get back with you within 24 to 48 hours. I don't do long waits. I'm an Aries. I don't like that shit. I need to know now. So I treat people with that same energy. Um, I am trying to put together an event. I'll keep you guys posted on that. But I love you all. Peace, love, light, namaste. And I'll see you guys for the month of July. Yeah. Bye, babies.